go guys, Nozzy here, I'm back with more energy than the last episode. I know it was incredibly boring, but um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry guys, I'm truly sorry, but I'm back. I just had a really bad day yesterday, but I'm back. I'm doing some more KS Flipping P. Done. Right, let's do this. Uh, blah, blah, what to do today, what to do today, what to, what to, what to do today, what to do today, what to do today, what to do today. First things first. Uh, yes, that's. I know what we're gonna do today, lads. I had a brilliant idea. Um, I was in a garden centre today, walking around, and I saw they had a DVD section, and they had the DVD of the Hubble Space Telescope. So today, I'm going to be putting in a interplanetary orbit, a Hubble, my own version of the Hubble Telescope, using the Auden Industries Telescope MUD. But before we do things, as you may know, in two entire days, we are going to the moon. Yes, that's right, we're going to the moon. And, um, that means we need a crew. We're going to hire six Kerbals, because the, the Hubble needs three. And we need three for our moon mission, who need to start their training. So, Danuni, you can go, come... Uh, you can come. You can come. Alright, so they will be um, the uh, Hubble crew. Ah. Won't you just look at that? That's crap. They're all stupid. Alright, we're going to go for you. You. And you. You're our moon crew. Edna and actually no, why do I need them? Je Jeb, Bill and Bob are going to the moon. What am I on about? Oh well, well we now have three extra astronauts, but that's that's all good. Don't panic. Right, let's get on building this Hubble. Well, um, I would call it the Snet, but I'm not going to. Um, I I I have a plan. Can actually get the old iPad out. Why that's loading? Go on to uh, translation of the Google. And we will go Russian, because I'm learning Russian at school now for some project I'm doing. So if I go Russian to English and type in view, what's view? Oh, it's exactly the same. Uh, sight. God damn it. Let's try window. Flipping hell. Hold on. Apparently. That's casual. I'm doing flipping Russian to English. Uh, sight. Whoa, whoa. Um. Okay, so it's three. Okay, I whoa, Jesus Christ. Um. Uh, okay, screw that. Uh, that's, that's, that's only casual. Flipping up. So here is our module, part of the Auden Industries mod, can be found on the forums. Just type it in on Google search and click the links to the forums, and you will have it. Don't panic. If you're panicking, God damn you! Don't panic, please. Don't panic, people. Don't panic. Thank you. Don't panic. Okay, uh, I don't know what to call this. Okay, well, we'll think of a name after. Let's get the crew. It was you, you, and you are the crew for this mission. I'll just save it there. So. Right, we'll name this craft the... The uh, interplanetary telescope orbiter, IPTO. What a name! Action groups, uh, open lens guard. 
and extend panel. Close lens two can close lens guards and three can retract the panel. Okay. Well, it says Auden Industries along the side. Well, uh, thank you very much, Auden Industries, for supplying us with this magnificent piece of equipment. Uh, shove a battery on there. We'll shove two batteries on there. Because these kerbals are going to be living up there. So they need to write equipment. Wait, where's the crew hatch? Where's the crew hatch? There's not even a crew hatch. Okay, that makes sense. We will put two more soda panels on just because we can. And this thing we don't want it to run out of power. We will put an adapter on it there and a docking port on it. Um There we go. The docking port. Okay, now our IPTO module is complete, and I thought I wasn't recording then because I changed where the uh, benchmark overlay is. Action groups, just make sure on three I said it. No, okay. Let's set up the fairing then. So I believe we need a 3.75 for this. Yep. This is going to be a flipping large fairing, I can tell you that. Oh, that, that's casual. We need one of these bad boys. Okay, there's our fairing with Ipto in. Very brave crew to go up with you. <laughs> okay, who needs SES? No one. That's who. LOL! Um. Are you just trying to find a big enough fuel tank? Like, to actually... I've been looking for this fuel tank for ages. For, like, satellites. Launch stages. I can't find a tank big enough to fit this flipping rocket. Why is it so hard? to find a fuel tank that fits this rocket. I just want to know why. Yes! No. No. Just yes. God damn it! Okay, we found one. Which the main sail can't handle its pace. This thing can structural. So apparently that can't attach to there for some reason, like the stock decouplers. Look at this bad boy. It's flipping mahoosive. That was mahoosive. We 
shoot two of these on. And then, the biggest, baddest engine you will ever see in your life. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the biggest, baddest engine you will see in your life. And we suddenly drop to five frames per second. Six. All right, so we're six here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 80, 26. So, we get 26, a difference of 20 frames per second. Maybe it's because of all this rubbish going on. Well, it's not rubbish, it makes the VAB awesome. But still. Look at these bad man things. The thrust provided by these has got to be only one thing and that is over nine freaking thousand and we're, we're just that bad man we don't even need to decouple them because we're hardcore like that <coughs> and we sneeze like that <coughs> and, and, and like that it's just flipping you can't handle it i'm sorry you just can't That's not working, so that's prob if that falls off. All right, let's zoom in on it. Okay, don't panic. We can put it on the decoupler, apparently. Don't panic now, lads. We've done it. Right. Um. Now we need a name for this launch stage. Okay, lads. Leave in the comments your uh, name ideas for this launch stage. launch this bad boy so today we have a crew of um, some random kerbals prepared to live the rest of their life in um, space well not the rest of their life we will um, eventually dock a ship with them and um, send up some supplies but they should have enough supplies in up there to last them a year and then in i think every 10 episodes we should send up a supply ship to them but i'll probably do that off camera so it won't be 10 episodes typical just bloody typical so let's launch before they explode Yay, we should probably put power... Oh, oh, it's up. Holy crap, it's up. Okay, well, don't panic, because we can crash this into the sea. Can't we? Actually, um, this could get into orbit. No, it couldn't. Let's cancel out the throttle. Let's wait until our speed gets to... Oh, we're speeding up again now. Okay, let's try and crash this this module. Um, battery pack slash docking port first. Duh, 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 it probably doesn't help flying over 100 miles an hour. No, it didn't work. Okay, let's try this again. Um, that, that didn't go particularly well. Did it now? No, no, say no, Nozzy. Oh, thank you guys. thank you for your support guys actually that, that brings me on to the fact um actually thank you guys i've just reached 18 subs 
Oh wait, no, that was uh, the joint channel between me and Theo. It's all good. <clears throat> okay, let's strut these together. God damn it. Shove that there, and that there. Shove that there, and that there. And shove that there, and shove that one there. And then we have them all the way around. And we'll do the same on the bottom. And on here. And on. And on here. That's really messed up. Wait, what? Flipping, flip, flipping, flipping. Yeah, me and uh, Betty Bobs are going to uh, record our first video for uh, BKH Gaming. Betty Bobs and Aussie Hardcore Gaming. Th this, this just looks flipping badass. Look at that. Look, would you just look at that piece of engineering? This is engineering at its best. Right, let's flipping launch this. It's flipping. Yeah, so we're going to record Minecraft for it. Um, medieval Minecraft, we're calling the series. I'll start work on the thumbnail in a bit, actually. Um, yeah, so we're going to be building like this giant castle as our place of residence. And it's going to look awesome. And uh, it's going to be beast. And apparently there's only one, two, three. Oh wow, it started. Right, apparently there's only one, two, three. Oh no, there's not. There's a lot of planes. Just didn't load. So I got this plane tracking app on my iPad, and I was just mucking around with it. Very un unprofessional of me. Three, two, one, launch. <laughs> and we are clear of the tower. The uh, can't remember the name of the craft, but yeah, we we have lift off. We're on our way to space. Woo, go space. Yeah, go space. Now, I can do this without using the map view at all. So, do not panic. And if the moon isn't there. But, oh, phew, we're not going to get an encounter with the moon. This crap, this launch stage is actually quite good. Minus, obviously, that ugly part there. But, if that decoupler had worked, I'm going to see if there's a mod for decouplers that will actually fix that. But, um... I can do this without the map view, so. Okay, well, um, yeah, it's going, it's doing well. Um, try and rotate us back around a little bit so we don't go into a dodgy inclined orbit. It could be a problem. Basically, all we need to do for this is burn. Do our gravitational turn. And then we will be in an orbit. Ah, sorry, I pulled my tooth out the other day and it still hurts. Um, I just need to, once the boosters are out, once the rock SRBs are out, what we will be able to do, we won't be able to do our gravitational turn until we've done that. So, um. I wonder how many pounds of thrust is on this thing. I'm just hold. I'm just spamming E right now, just to stop it rotating even more and to try and rotate it the right way around. But the quicker these SRBs run out. Oh god, that engine, the main sail is gonna not the Griffin XXX. Oh, don't go into a polar orbit, please. 
Please, I'm gonna do a puzzle a little bit. Oh, we can do the gravitational this way turn the gravitational turn this way so it'll be actually closer to the sun stop 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 boosters stop boosters stop bo okay so the boosters are out which means we can rotate the craft be better now There you go, there's a gravitational turn at 30,000 feet. Still burning. I thought I'd cut the throttle, but never mind. And there we have it. There is our gravitational turn, people. Um, I would laugh right now if we already had a... Uh, <laughs> a uh, flipping... We got plenty of fuel to get a encounter, but um, not. What am I on about encounter? We want to curb an escape, not an encounter. What? Flipping hell! Because I have um an outside bedroom, not an outside bedroom. My 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 bedroom is at the front of the house, so when cars come down the road, and um, our road, our estate, it's like a turn. So when cars t come down that turn, that the light the sunlight comes off that comes off their headset the uh, off their wind mirror comes onto my wall and it does it when i'm not ready and it scares me well it makes me jump it doesn't scare me it's just stupid i mean definitely didn't get scared on the difficulty selection menu on prior fear that definitely didn't happen actually we can release that now can't we bye bye a terrible orbit. Probably should have put a flight engineer chip on. Do you think that could have helped slightly, but for, you know, never mind. Let's just get some uh, velocity that's lateral. We'll put RCS on for no reason, because we don't have RCS. Yay. We're travelling incredibly fast. I will uh, give you that actually. So, we do have a slight overheat, but this should get us into a uh, orbit. Well, trajectory for a Kerbin escape. Escape of Kerbin! Escape of Kerbin! Yeah, you like that. Um, There it is, the uh, Hubble inspired. What was the name of the craft? What did he say? Wait, we can have a look in, look in map view. Ipto. Part count, 15. Total mass, 62. And getting less. Sphere of influence, Kerbins. Situation, suborbital flight time, T plus 004 minutes, 13 seconds. Velocity, 1,750.86 seconds. Altitude, 136. Still rising, that's good. There is the snit orbiting round. There we have our radar alpha. Off camera, I'll probably put a couple more of them round. So I'm going to put one on the North Pole, one over here somewhere. Just, and one probably over here. I'll probably put one at KSC2, actually. We can use KSC2 as a radar stage. See, we have a dodgy inclination, I think. Um, we better not have over here, right? Right, let's just throttle up. Let's get things going a bit quicker here. Oh, wow, we're going to get a moon encounter, aren't we? Sure, we could use this. If we do get a moon encounter... Which, no, we won't. I'm just watching this extend now. If we did get a moon encounter, that'd be awesome. Wait, is the moon rotating that way? Accidentally cut the throttle. So, any casual. There we go. Okay. 
Ähm. Bye bye, launch stage. Thank you for your help. Have fun burning up in the atmosphere. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. It is a probe indeed, even though it has crew. What? Wait, what? Why a Jebediah? What? Why? Why? Wait, what? Why is Jebediah here? And Bottle Bill, Bob, you're meant to be going to the moon on Friday. Are there any other satellites near here? God damn it. Oh god. Um. I guess we could do some stuff with the camera. There's the moon. Let's point towards the moon. Oh, no. Okay, so apparently it's W and S to rotate. This is confusing. Wait, where's the moon now? No. Oh, this is confusing. Do you know what, I'm gonna spin it round. See if that helps. Aha, it worked. This is so confusing. Trying to point it towards the moon, for God's sake. There we go, there we go, leave it, leave it. Leave it, yeah. Wait, where's activate camera? Wow, I just took a screenshot, that's all good. Guessing this is activate camera? Oh. Uh, what did I just click? Aha! There it is, there it is, there it is. I have a way to bring it back around. Should see it fly in here any second. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Trying to follow it. God damn it! I lost it. There we go. It's not very steady, is it? This camera. All right, let's get it in our focus. No, I lost it again. Okay, never mind. Um, how do we get out of this now? Oh, 
Oh, there's the debris. Are you going to fall back to Earth or are you going to stay in orbit? Please fall back to Earth. That would be very kind of you. Okay, it's based on Turk done. Okay, we'll leave that to coast. Um, probably still why we're going to the moon. Um, as long as I'm in the save, it will still be going. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. This has been Nozzy. I have been playing Kerbal Space Program. Kerbal Space Program, the best game ever invented, in my opinion. Actually, is Minmus in the right position to go to? Or did he go there? I'm joking. I don't think. Alright, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.